What's up, Scorpio family? It's Obsidian Lotus L. I hope all is well. I'm going to spray my, uh, excuse me, sage. I don't do the smoke, so now I, I have a sage clearing spray that I use. So much of the energy, it just got 10 minutes deep in and it felt like the same freaking reading from yesterday. So we're starting over. You don't know it, <laughs> but we are. Um, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, what is it that I wanted to say? I love you. If nobody's told you today, I love you. Um, before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. Also, if you'd like to donate, most of you know if you follow me, um, I've been through a, a crazy year and you know I went through chemotherapy. I've had two surgeries. I'm six, eight weeks out, excuse me, from my last surgery though. So, But I am still out of work um, and I'm a single mom. So I do have a GoFundMe link set up in the uh, description box below if you would like to um, uh, help support the cause. Um, and anybody that has, thank you so much. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. Prayers, positive words, suggestions, all that beautiful stuff has been just such an amazing gift for me. And I love you and appreciate you. All right. So, ha! Yeah. What the fuck, Scorpio? Somebody's upset. Okay. Let's get out of that energy. <laughs> Could be a Gemini with the lover's card showing up. I don't feel like it's you. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of moving towards some happiness, but there's the energy of like dodging a bullet, okay? The energy of, um, I was getting the energy of um, avoiding a tower, all right? Somebody's been thinking something about something an awful lot. Either you or a person about you. Um, I was also getting the energy that there has been something, something that ha was restricting you in some way is no longer doing that, right? So you freed yourself from some kind of a restricting energy. Um, and there is like the energy, okay, it's, it's like I'm coming up with a plan. That's what I feel like. And then um, I was also getting the energy of gifting somebody with the truth. You or somebody else will be gifting you with some sort of truth, okay? Um, this is either, I think this is either what you or this person has been stuck in their head about. Okay. And there's also the energy, and this is sweet. It felt like somebody manifested you or they, or you a person. Okay. In a situation that was the pre-read before this past, whatever I just did. All right. So quick messages. Let's see what this says. I didn't even start talking yet. I need to stop shuffling. Um, let's say my little prayer. Uh, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, guides, please. Ugh. What is with my speech today? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please protect us from any negative energy any kind being sent our way send it block it and send it back into the universe um into nothingness amen so this is archangel uriel your emotions are healing which enables you to open up to a greater love and will help you release unforgiveness from your heart and mind right so this is very healthy scorpio if this is happening i feel like we need to talk about it right letting go of anger in any way shape or form right even if it's like Okay, I still hate this person's guts, right? Deep down inside, I have all this anger for whatever they did. They were a fuck face, <laughs> excuse my language, but they fucked my they fucked my heart up, right? Or they broke my heart, or they screwed me over, or they just did some some shit that wasn't very nice, okay? Somebody's gonna be so mad in the comments about my potty mouth right now. But this card, you know, when I see that, that's how I feel. It's like when you get those emotions, right? It's not deep down inside forgiving without them even knowing is the best thing that you can do because it's going to open up your heart, heal your heart and open up to, to, to be able to allow love to come in. Okay. To great for, a, it allows greater love to come in is what it says, which enables you to open to greater love. So being able to experience greater love, right? Love that isn't like that love that isn't, you know what I mean? Hanging on to again, 
it all it all it all has to do with energy right we talk about it so much as well but um letting go of that and the vibration that you'll be on because of it all right let's see not to mention love is a lot more pleasant to have in your heart than hate right so all right spirit angels ancestors guides what other messages do we have for scorpio You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Of course, because you're a Scorpio, right? A lot of us are. A lot of us are here to bring change. A lot of us are healers. A lot of a lot of us are teachers in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so sorry, my front door is open right now. Um, that was loud. <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff, construction and stuff in the area. Um, Or maybe you've been thinking about going into some kind of spiritual healing teaching. Okay, here's your sign. Or you are. Okay, let's do that's the that's the one about controlling your anger, honey. Let's <laughs> wanted to come out again. Somebody's trying to unleash the stinger, right? Meditate, pray, right? Send love into the universe and forgive. Okay. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. This could mean a baby. All right. If you're not trying to have a baby, this could mean a fur baby, right? Um, if it's not that, it could just be some kind of a change, something that's happy, happy addition to the family. I mean, usually it does mean a baby, but it could be an animal, right? Um, a happy change or an addition so a happy change okay so that doesn't necessarily have to be an addition a happy change coming is good as well right so some type of change for the better right um you know what's crazy is you guys know i've talked about you know how you know i kind of have a um tumultuous relationship with my mother right and so um, we spent some time earlier today and it was really positive and really, even when she had her moments, I was able to kind of guide her into, um, like a more positive energy and without her getting like emotionally triggered. And it was, it was great. But you know what I've been doing this past week, meditating about it with my other, I, I mean, I, sometimes I spend, I mean, a couple hours meditating in the morning. I know everybody doesn't have that kind of time, but like I'll meditate on certain things and that being one of them, breaking generational curses and it blew my mind. I was like, holy shit, this might be working, right? So that could be a happy change. Something like that could be changing for you, Scorpio, okay? Um, I've got it's Isaiah. It's good. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these times. So new ideas. Okay. New ideas, new ideas, right? You're being guided. If you've got some sort of an idea financially, um, to do so, you're going to be provided the financial need or the, whatever the finances to do. So, um, if you've been thinking about doing something, you're being guided and protected during these changes, right? I like that energy. Especially if it has to do with some sort of healing and helping other people, the divine is gonna find a way to make that happen. Trust me, you know? Um, let's see, what other messages? What messages? Let's start with these. Do we have for Scorpio today? Scorpio, somebody can't get you out of their head. But we've had a, a cycle of completion, so it could be somebody that you, here's the Gemini energy again, that you've kind of left behind, or this is work energy, it could be a work situation.
So Four of Wands overall energy here with these cards that I pulled. I'm also going to pull some of these today. Yeah, for some of you, there have been some lies awaiting you, something like that you weren't happy about in a situation. If this is a karmic cycle of completion, that's done. Something is completed, okay? Maybe that's why that's done. We do have third party energy or the three of swords, some kind of heartbreak associated with all this in this spread here. Um, if you're looking at something different, maybe you see somebody in a different light. Yeah, there was some sort of a, maybe you're looking at it like it was obsession. And now it's like, I'm not, I don't feel it anymore. Um, there's jealousy. Hmm. Okay, so somebody feels like you're a mystery, Scorpio. <gasps> oh, I hate it when that happens. Somebody feels like you're a mystery, all right? So there's a bit of obsession going on right now, and I think it's like whatever you've kind of turned your back to here in the past. This person is still playing the waiting game with you. They're feeling jealous. They feel like, but you feel like they don't understand you. And like you are just like this enigma to this person. Like you're just a total mystery here. Maybe that's why they're so obsessed with it. Something within a few months. Um, there's something about you. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to... It, you triggers that you're they triggered by how you are there's something about you that's very sexy okay we got the undercover freak card right so you could be very good and bad or it's the energy if they know something about you like that and it triggers this person with jealousy um so you may talk to this person may reach out to you within the next few months, whoever this past person was. But again, they're still up to the same crap. All right, what is this uh, Page of Wands energy? So if you're drawn to something right now, if you're being drawn to something, again, this teaching energy, there's a magnetic attraction, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be a person. With this energy, the Prince of Wands, this is the journalist. See how he's te he's basically, you know, letting people know something here, okay? This is public. So you could be doing some kind of public speaking or communication or... Um, you're being drawn to do something that's public here that has to do with communication. And there's also proposal energy. So um, it could be like a job offer, right? Um, and for some of you, the hell. <laughs> for some of you, somebody that is giving you the silent treatment has a proposal for you. Um, an offer of some sort. They secretly still have the hots for you, whoever that is. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's the I miss your face. Somebody ran from a situation. Somebody ran from a situation towards a whole lot of money, okay, or somewhere where they thought there was going to be a lot of money. Angels are protecting you, this, that there's something about you being protected though right now, okay, you've got the six of wands energy. We've got it's complicated, okay, energy.
So I feel like with this, it's like angels are protecting you. You're being, this whole situation's complicated. Whatever this is, there's something over here. I feel like there's two different energies, honestly, Scorpio, whoever this is for, the collective that it's for. There's two different energies here. We forgot to do a romance oracle, but two different energies. Okay, this there's two past energies showing up in this energy. And if it's not a fire somebody, it's somebody that's got a lot of fire, desire, right? Um, for you still, attraction. It feels very passionate about you. Your eyes are unforgettable, Scorpio. This is something that this person, um, it's like they can't forget. What is this three? There's something about your eyes. Three of Swords, external energy is working against you. So again, the Three of Swords doesn't always have to be a third party situation. Three of Swords in this case can possibly be external energies working against you, right? So just be conscious of whatever that could be. It could be anything as simple as, I don't know, what's a good example? You know, um, say you're hanging out with a friend and they know you need to work or do something, you know, um, productive or get something done and this person's kind of jealous of your energy or jealous of what you've got going on or something and they try to keep you from you know getting what you need to get done right or causing interference that's an external energy working against you I know it's a lame lame uh uh description right I don't know but you know what I'm saying here for example there is some type of external energy working against you. Whether you know it or not, third party energy. Um, for some of you, it has to do with a love situation, right? Somebody trying to keep you and another person away from each other. But this is a situation where there's been unsent messages here. There's a lot of emotion that feels like there's actual genuine love, okay? So again, external energies, third third party. You, whoever the first person you think about here when I'm talking about that, that gut feeling, um, you know who it is. And there's been extreme manipulation, and it's a, here we go with this pleasure in themselves again, right? When they think about you, extreme manipulation and lies about you. Pay attention to signs. So somebody. Um, in order to keep somebody away from you has like really manipulated the situation and lied a lot about you and your character. I feel like it's energy that I'm getting here with this third party. I mean, it could even be like somebody's mother doesn't like you or you know what I mean? Something that simple. I don't know what it is, Scorpio, but then we've got signs here. Okay. I'm going to put those cards over there for right now. Um, with the chariot energy so forward movement so pay attention to signs moving forward right um and the direction that you're going now let's see what is this chariot energy with signs we've got strength you could be moving towards a leo okay or it just could mean stay strong right the strength is my leo card um judgment energy wanted to come out let's see what this other card is the Ace of Swords, a wake-up call here, okay, truth, clarity, um, there's forward movement, someone could be coming to see you here, this is car, and it, there could be, some of you could be getting a car in August, pay attention to signs, maybe you need to get a new car, Um, yeah, you've been putting like a lot of money into something or I don't know whoever that's for, but it's time to get a new car. Um, yeah, the death card, somebody's car is about to die. All right. What is the, um, this judgment energy? Uh, you regret, okay. With this five of coins energy with the judgment, it's like, I regret wasting my time with, things, third party energies when I could have been doing something else. Okay. There is a level of regret. It's a wake up call, right? It's like, I, 
how many times do I have to spend my time doing something I don't want to do, spending or not doing something I don't want to do? How many times do I have to catch myself regretting that I've wasted three, four months when I could have been investing it in something else, someone else, you know, you follow what I'm saying, Scorpio, um, especially if somebody was going to put you in a third party situation. Now, for some of you, there's forward movement, possibly in a new direction here. Okay. Just watch out for signs because we do have the transformation energy here with the death card, right? So rebirth. Okay. Transformation, new situation, Scorpio. Um, seven of wands we do have you protecting your energy we've got our guard up just a little bit here um or it would be wise to here we go again with the death card so extra confirmation double confirmation here that we are in a um energy uh in the energy of wanting to um start over really it's like I'm starting over this is this is a transformation for me here moving away from third party energies or energies here that uh you don't feel hopeful about right you feel like you're just wasting your time I've got the just the star card here which is Aquarius energy but this is the energy of you know feeling hopeful three of coins um working working together feeling hopeful about working together here working with someone prayers being answered in a situation and then the two of coins energy there's change coming that's going to bring options for you financially that you've been up at night worried about okay so if you've been up at night worried about something that has to do with work here yeah there is a new beginning with a situation for you coming in to your energy energy do we have for signs what signs do we have okay ace of rods <clears throat> you know what we like to say about that card <laughs> this is my fun spicy card right so the ace of wands is usually fun right the ace of wands is okay so you've got signs here fire energy pisces cancer scorpio energy uh, aries leo sagittarius energy and cancer energy um it's like you're right here. It's right there with the two of wands. Um, so maybe this is forward movement. Watch out for signs in which direction to move, okay? To go towards maybe uh, whatever you're more, whoever, who or whatever you are more passionate about is what you should be moving towards, okay? It's gonna bring you happiness long-term happiness now if this isn't a person again this is a situation what you're passionate about long-term happiness it's right in front of you you watch for the signs right that you're praying for or meditating on okay because we've got forward movement here right someone who is definitely moving forward in the direction yeah and this is high vibe energy with the empress energy chariot again so double confirmation <clears throat> there's forward movement in a positive direction, which is kind of almost reminiscent of yesterday's reading, you know, forward movement in a positive direction, Scorpio, whether it's love, whether it's work, look, stability for you could be stability with both. Okay. Mm, let's do some angel oracle cards. Actually, no, let's do a romance. Whoa. Deception, someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. So again, this is like either what you just left, that energy that we were picking up on, or some of you are still in it, right? And then, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past and experience more love in your present moments again forgiving 
learning and moving on, right? Not holding on to that anger, resentment, all that, whatever this deception was. You don't have to forgive that person and let them back into your life, but you can forgive and move on lovingly, right? And I feel like that's because, and, and then let go of control issues. Um, important, especially if you want to attract somebody that is on a higher vibration to get into that energy as well, right? So let's see, what did I want to ask before I end the reading? Or not end the reading, but do the angel. I wanted to ask about the manifesting energy, about who manifested Scorpio. Has somebody manifested Scorpio? Has somebody manifested Scorpio? I was getting the energy of somebody manifesting Scorpio. Okay, so for some of you, we've got, this is funny, funny, not funny though, <laughs> somebody who's very guarded, okay, protects themselves energetically. Um, you've got somebody that it could have been literally in prison here or somebody that has been, um, was stuck for a long time here in the energy of psychological entrapment here or something like that. I'm getting alone, okay? So even if they weren't like in prison, but it's just this energy of being like in total solitude, being alone, meditating. I mean, but going through some kind of psychological entrapment energy. It's almost like the energy, like going to the dark side, right? The shadow, doing the dark night of the soul, you know, experiencing the dark night of the soul and then coming out of it and you know, understanding what it is that you want moving forward. I feel like this is the energy I'm getting from this person's energy. We have somebody that possibly used to be a player, but is now looking for stability. They know they were. I don't think this person, you, I don't think you know this person. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um... I'm not feeling like you know this person yet, Scorpio. We still have a lot of past that wants to come back, but you know how it is being a Scorpio, right? <laughs> they can't get enough. All right, so the Ten of Swords energy. This person went through some painful shit. They definitely went through the dark night of the soul. And I feel like through that, this person has manifested a, a soulmate, okay? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, feminine energy for my fans. Um, a supportive person, a very emotionally loving, supportive person. The sun, somebody that they could be um, happy with, uh, right? So this is, as I like to say, swinging on a motherfucking ray of sunshine, right? So, but somebody, you know, this is the energy of good health, you know, manifesting, feeling carefree and healthy, beautiful, feeling inspired, right? Being able to get naked emotionally and physical, physically with somebody, um, embracing your power and not being afraid, right? All this powerful stuff, right? So it's like, I feel like this person went through the dark night of the soul. They came out and they realized this is what they wanted to do. They wanted to be swinging on all that shit I just said, right? So um, in this energy, they started to manifest somebody like this, right Scorpio and like this okay um which I feel like is you okay we've got the the they used to be a player but they don't want to be a player no more because <laughs> I'm like what is the knight of rods okay you know <laughs> did we manifest a player no I feel like the player doesn't want to be a player anymore the ace of cups energy um and Scorpio maybe used to be a player right you're a Scorpio so <laughs> Um, the start of something wonderful, potential for deeper intimacy, opportunity for connection. This person went from a player to, I want deeper intimacy, whatever they went through. They're just like, you know, I'm good on just the sex. I want deeper intimacy now, right? Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They want stability. Okay, here's this three of coins that was in your energy here. Okay, so working together. 
this could be something where you've manifested. Um, yeah, this is why the tower happened with the past person. Tower in the past. Okay. Um, mm. Three of coins energy. The Knight of Pentacles. There's something that you do and this person do, okay? That like, they're either, you could be very, both be, this is my prophet energy as well. So knowing, knowing things, okay? There's something that the two of you, maybe this is going to, you again, manifesting somebody that's very, similar to you that will understand you I feel like is what this energy looks like to me um there's stability but there's understanding and working together because if there's there's knowledge of something like you understand something about this person is what I'm getting or you will right and it's I feel like this is soulmate energy again with the two of cups that's definitely soulmate energy Ace of Swords. And see how these two are looking like at each other, like deep in their eyes. I know this is kind of corny, but like there being truth here. Like that there that's there's truth here between these two. Okay. Seeing the truth in someone's eyes. Remember what I, I don't know. Scorpio, um, five of wands in reverse. So getting out of conflicted energy, having an aha moment here. Okay. Basically learning to protect their energy. So this is what you had to do too. And it's like, I feel like it could be like this, you know, some of you, if you believe in twin flames, I don't know. If there's an idea of twin flame energy duality even if it's just a soulmate connection where you're kind of going through the same thing at the same time right like past situations not working out hitting towers right protecting your energy getting on a higher vibration you know and moving into this energy of the king of rods is, is this person is very truthful right this person speaks the truth um you can trust the king of rods. You've manifested or they've manifested someone that they can trust. I feel like it's both of you, honestly. But I feel like this person is definitely... It's almost going to feel like... I know it sounds crazy, but like... Looking at somebody and thinking, Whoa, I think I manifested that person. As corny as it sounds, I feel like this is what's going to happen. Um... King of Coins energy, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, um, and then the Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, it's a player. They used to be a player. All right. <laughs> this person used to be a player. They've done a lot of work on themselves, though. So you can't give them a hard time once you do meet. If you do here or you have already, um, I don't feel like you have, though. This person broke a lot of hearts. And they still watch. Yeah. <laughs> Some are not happy about it. Some still cry about it. Damn. Are we talking about another Scorpio here? <laughs> Scorpios be breaking some hearts. The Ace of Wands that had some good D or good V here. Having people all upset in their feelings and shit. <laughs> But they have wrestled this demon inside them, okay? They went through the dark night of the soul here, Scorpio. They wrestled a fucking crocodile lion, right? And they realized, look, with a third party energy, that they were hurting themselves more than anyone else. See how she's got two in her chest? So, again, this is somebody that's manifested you after they've been through the dark night of the soul. Wheel of Fortune is a cycle of completion. New person. New. Right? Three of Cups. We've got 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo energy. Um, all right, should we do timeline? We're like already 35 minutes in. Y'all, I spoil you. I'm like, I'm gonna do other car, I'm gonna do other uh, signs, and then I'll do like a 40 minute reading for you, and I'm like, I'm not doing any other sign. All right, timeline, ooh, okay. September, July. So for some of you, September or July, um, sorry, September, new path. Mm. This is a gift from the divine. This whole situation, whatever the two of you have been through on either side of this soulmate connection, it's going to be a gift, okay? New path here, and I feel like Gemini season, okay, with the lovers being there. Timeline, all right? So I hope that was juicy and helpful, right? We got some tea on some soulmate love coming your way. Okay. I just kind of feel like it's like, you know, you're going to meet this person and it's going to feel like that. You're going to feel like that. And I feel like this person's going to feel like that. Right. It's just like almost like, wow, how could this person be everything that I feel like I've ever wanted, right, in a person. Maybe just down to everything that you're, yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. Um, having, having clarity, right, um, and truth. Feeling like, I feel like it's gonna feel like, you know, aw, look, the 10 of cups. Um, you can see long-term happiness with this person right away, right? Um, just because I feel like I'm also hearing you're so much alike and a lot of us maybe have a lot in common or you will have a lot in common. Okay. All right. So let's do, oh, look, the lovers. Oh, okay. Your angels are pushing you and helping you, um, bring happiness to couples and removing negative energy and helping you move towards joy and pleasure okay and y'all july's not too far away okay so get it together i'm just kidding get yourself sexy right? july and too far away okay. what other messages do we have for scorpio wands are being you've been free right three of wands angels have helped you free yourself from a situation the emperor wanted to come out in reverse but this is an angel card but the emperor in reverse is a tyrant is somebody that wants what they want they don't care what they got to do to get it right i feel like you've freed yourself from an energy who was kind of maybe you know oppressive in a sense where it was just selfish they wouldn't wanted what they wanted they didn't care what you want in scorpio Seven of Wands or Swords energy, um, knowledge of good and evil, right? Seven of Swords is deceptive energy typically, right? So again, your angels possibly helped you like, you know, either made you wake up to some signs here or you finally just, you know, listened to your intuition, but it was definitely divinely guided. All right, so let's see. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Curing cures mental illness and delivers from persecution. This is stability energy, okay? And this is God liberating the oppressed. So again, oppressive energy, even if somebody's not meaning to do it in a way, right, um, that's malicious, there was oppressive energy in the sense, and your angel literally picked you up and you're like, and they were like, no, 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 Scorpio, 
your dark night of the soul was not for you to move over here and be oppressed, right? Um, or in a situation where you are being oppressed and in a situation, I get, you know what I'm trying to say, um, an oppressive situation where it's like, you're not allowed to be free. You're not allowed to be yourself. You're not allowed to like be free and open and in a, if, say you want to express feelings in a relationship and this person just wants to keep it casual and keep people over here, keep, you know what I mean? I feel like it's that energy, right? Scorpio. So again, this is the energy of your angel saying, nope, you didn't do all this work. So you can sit over here and fucking lie about how you feel, right? Not today. <laughs> all right. And then <laughs> with the page of wands energy, this is, um, saving from enemies. You've been saved from an enemy as well, right? Let's do one more. The Three of Cups. This is fame and renown. Um, and then influences commerce, voyages, and great discovery. So again, I feel like celebrate, you know, you are, this is kind of being like the energy feel... <laughs> You're going to be known here, and this is for my healers and teachers, right? The beginning of the reading, um, known for, for having a healing hand or being like a right hand of God in some way, shape or form, whether it's worldwide, whether it's, you know, um, in the town that you live in or being, um, you know, someone that is actually, you know, starts whatever this is that you do, your healing work and people go to you, right? That they hear that you're wonderful at what you do, right? Your healing work. And this is going to be, uh, you're going to be very celebrated. So again, it's like needing to release energies that are holding you back from what you're here to do, boo, right? Basically, because here it is in the end, right? And it, that's in, 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 for this type of an energy, for this type of mission in your life, if you're a healer, Scorpio, uh, you're not supposed to be with an oppressive energy, right? That is going to keep you on a lower vibration. So there it is. I hope this was helpful. This, this is almost 45 minutes. I'm sorry if it was too long for some of you. Let's do a, a, a few tea leaves really quick before we end it. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, what other messages do we have for my Scorpios? Desk, pay attention to your work, okay? Focus. Maybe Spirit is asking you to pay extra attention to work right now and, and not some other things, okay? Dealings with an older man and, un and an unsuccessful outcome to a problem with a broken bridge, okay? So don't focus on that, focus on this. We've got the eagle triumph over troubles and obstacles. I love it when the eagle comes out. I love eagles, right? The eagle is the closest to the divine. A lot of times eagles are drawn in Scorpio artwork and um, astrology pictures as well. So um, for me, again, this is really staying close to the divine. Okay, and you're gonna triumph over troubles and obstacles. And then we have a secret admirer. Okay. Might be in July. <laughs> Just saying. All right, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful. Again, if you'd like to donate, that information is in the description box below. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.